Hello and welcome to the Toy Fair 2013. You may have seen the TV show Deadly 60. Well, we're on the stand now and um, we've even been joined by one of its special guests if you want to take a look over there. Nice big snake on the stand. Not every day that you get to see that, but um, you know, we as two professionals, we will carry on and tell you everything that's available on the stand. So I have this lovely lady who's going to run me through everything they do that's obviously in conjunction with the TV show. Tell us all about it. Okay, well we've got some new products that are coming out this year. We've got the Deadly 60 Collectors tin. Um, so that's going to include a nice poster about the Deadly 60 animals that are in the show. It's going to include some coloured stickers, um, some foam puzzles of a tiger and a tarantula, two um, magnetic badges and two pin badges there so that's all in one tin and then obviously you can put all your other bits and bobs in from the show that you're collecting as well right and um, we've got the mechanical shark which is new for this year as well so the idea is the child has to build the shark out of the card here and then it also has to build the motor at the bottom and then once it's all together you switch it on and the shark chases the seal <laughs> So very educational as well as obviously fun for the child and also you can get the parents involved as well um, so they can help uh, make it with yep, the child. Something for the family to do. It is and then we've got um, the 3D um, animal puzzles which have been popular, very popular this year and we're expanding the range out for 2013 with two new ones with the uh, tarantula and the scorpion. The idea is again the child has to build the animal so it's got this one's actually got 26 pieces and then once it's built it turns into a little figurine so we've got gorillas african elephants polar bears tarantulas scorpions hippopotamus why don't you have one of these big snakes <laughs> we were actually talking about it today we we're talking about that well, should we do an inflatable snake like a big bow constrictor <laughs> remote control one that yeah. size do you know it's never been done or at least i've never i've never ever right. seen it been done by the way this is not animatronics this is a real snake <laughs> we'll pick it up for you later. see it's knocking the stand to pieces you see it is a real snake right come on let's i see something i see something down and don't worry about it it's not gonna bite come on i see something here tell me what this okay, is this is the call of the world sound master so this has got six deadly 60 animal sounds on it they're actually from the archive at the bbc so you've got a wolf it's an actual wolf in the wild. Right. Um, you've got a rattlesnake. Do you think it's wise to press that button with a snake right behind you? It doesn't <laughs> seem that bothered. <laughs> She's getting worried. <laughs> that looks that looks kind of fun. And uh, tell us about these. Yeah, these are pullbacks. So we've got um, a tarantula and a scorpion. So they don't require any batteries. Right. The idea is that you just pull these back and then they scoot along the sides. So the <laughs> there's, there's something to scare the mother. And just to scare this lady, you do know that that snake's wrapping itself around your leg. <laughs> 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 it's fine, I've held it already today. Oh, there you and go. then, as we're on the subjects of snakes, we'll show you our new infrared green pit viper snake. So infrared? Yeah. Tell us a little bit about this, what does it do? So, the idea is, pop it on the floor, <laughs> and then you've got remote control. And it's got so many functions, it's got just a normal, where it snakes around, and then it's got an all way from left to right. Again, where it's <laughs> but as you can see, it's a lot smaller than the real one. Yeah, this one seems to be a little bit big. Has he been on your stand all day then? Yes, he has, yeah. And just sure. chilling out, just goes around, knocks your stand to pieces. And <laughs> Amazingly, you don't argue with it, do you? <laughs> no, no, definitely not. It's an, actually, it's a she. Oh, it's a she? It's um, Queen Bodicea. Right, okay, okay. I notice that you've got quite a selection of um, tropical animals here. Yeah. On your stand. Should we go take a look? Oh, yeah. let's, let's go and take a look at these. So we've got, um, we've actually got a spider called Charlotte. So it's a chili rose tarantula. Yeah, do you want? Should we? She, she is in the back there in the yeah, corner. Just nip her out for you. Really? Yeah. And then we've got um, an imperial scorpion as well. <laughs> I hate spiders. So. Don't bring it anywhere near me, please. I have a real phobia about spiders. <laughs> She's pretty friendly, though. Obviously, you can hold her. So, yeah. and, and what we're trying to do as well here is educate people about snakes and spiders as well, because people have got a real, pho real phobia. And that's the whole thing with Deadly 60. That's what he does. He goes out and teaches children about being in the wild and holding. All right, OK. Now, I've been told, I don't know if this is true, 
bigger the claws, smaller I've, the poison. Is I've, that what you've been told? Yeah, I've been told the bigger the scorpion, the less poison. Yeah, that's, that's true. Pretty, pretty much, yes. So that's very you tiny. see, I know what I'm talking about. So that one would probably kill you. No, 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 because this is a <laughs> small, big one. A small, big one? Yeah. Right, okay, okay. Full grown. Okay. How big did they get to? Oh, what, about six inches, Linz? Six inches? Oh, yeah. Yeah, about that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you can actually see it in there. Yeah, I can. <laughs> I'll just back up a little bit. <laughs> I have a job to do. I ain't, risk, I ain't risking anything. <laughs> no, not really. Not really. There it is. It's Outlook. There you go. You can have a look. Have you ever been bitten by anything like this? Right. Yeah. They actually look like brothers. Yep. <laughs> yep. Don't they look marvellous? <laughs> and we have some more snakes around here as well. Very tropical stand this today. I mean, you never really expected to come to the toy fair and see snakes and tarantulas and scorpions and and such things. But um, this was proving a little bit of a wriggler. What kind of snake is this? This is a python. Lovely. Poisonous? No. Okay. A small constrictor. Right. Yep, it's trying to constrict itself right now. Do you want to hold? Yeah. Here we go, we have one of the clubbit team that's now going to hold the snake. Believe it or not, they're not slimy like most people think. They actually feel like a, a, a shoe that moves. It's really, it's really, really weird because there's so many different muscles in them that you can, and you can feel them all working at the same time. It's a really strange feeling holding a snake. <laughs> it's nice. It's nice. I'm very small. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> no, no, no. He, he pops in every now and again. Yak to much. I got the shoes just like this. Yeah, well, there you go. That's a deadly 60 stand at the toy fair.